I'm going to do some notching here and some masking and maybe some rejecting here with the Nokia Legend LG30 coil here. Um, somebody requested me to do another test with the big coil um, and mask some targets. So I'm going to start out with the zinc penny. I'm going to notch the zinc penny out and see how it affects these other coins and rings underneath that zinc penny or near that zinc penny. Okay. Start out in field program here, all metal. Recovery speed 10, iron filter zero. Field program. It's hitting it. So I'll go into the discrimination menu here. Swing over that target there. Reject it out. I'll just push the X button there when I'm sweeping over it, when I have the discrimination menu open and I push reject, it'll reject that target that I'm swinging over. And I'll even go a little bit further here. Oh, I went out of that menu there. Discriminate that, that out. And I'll go to 41 and 43, just to make sure I'm, I have that discriminated out all the way there, right? Just one number is not enough to discriminate out targets, right? You have to have a window of discrimination or notching to really have any good on it, right? So this is all metal, right? Hitting it. Now this is my custom notch here. Just notched it out, okay? Now I'll start placing some, this is silver coin here, see, silver coin. This is notched. Having a big coil is hurting me in this situation because it's masking the target even more because I have a um, greater chance of this being within the field of the coil. Whatever is closest to the coil, whatever is closest to the coil, the the coil is most sensitive on. And if you have that, that um, target notched out for some reason, it's going to mask anything around that or within the, the field of that coil. It's gonna notch that other target out. Look at this. That's notched out. That is notched out. That is, that is masked now because I have this notched out. Watch what happens when I take this penny out. It's hitting it pretty good going this way. Right. But once I get closer, Doing pretty good there, but that is a humongous coin. When are you gonna ever find a Morgan dollar? Probably never. I've never found one. Been, tech, been detecting for 30 years, never found a Morgan dollar. I don't ever plan to find, find one either. We can always hope. So this is the silver quarter. This is the notched program. Huh? This is the notched coin. It's still hitting the coin just a little bit. I don't, I don't quite have it knocked all the way out there. Let's see, watch. Now I'll do a dime here. It's all over with. It's all because they're the same size. Right? There's no way. all over with. My recovery speed's at 10, too. There's no way. Once you start notching stuff out, it's over with, right? Especially bottle caps. Bottle caps really affect the detector. I mean, hardcore. Iron really has a huge halo um, on the magnetic field of, of, a, of a coil. And there's just so many bottle caps and the what's what's one thing one thing that's good about bottle caps is they rust out and they will deteriorate in the ground so they won't hit nearly as good but the bottle cap reject will not work on those older bottle caps there's just, there's just no way to get past them you just got to dig them out but I, I really 
I do not enjoy digging bottle caps out, right? I, I hate them just as much as you guys. But the only way to unmask targets is to get these bottle caps out of the way. I'm telling you, the hot spots that we have that are full of jewelry and coins and rings and lots of jewelry have these bottle caps all over the place. And we're always maintaining that area, clearing out the bottle caps. Sometimes we just go through there and just get handfuls of bottle caps just right on the surface. So next time you come by that area, it won't. these bottle caps will not be in the ground and I won't have to dig them out. I will always pick up a bottle cap if I see it on the surface because it only takes a second. Just pick them up. Just pick them up and um, that way you can maintain the area. All right. So now I'll take that same zinc penny, right? That's notched out here. It's notched out. All right. And I'll put the gold rings in here. Watch this gold ring here. Read not 30. It's gone. Right. It's doing pretty good there. But if you walk past this, if you're traveling, you don't have much uh, uh, window there. About three inches, four inches, five inches. You have five inches until it masks that target completely. But I want to be digging these pennies out because this gold ring right here, look what happens to this gold ring here. It's notched out. And I only have the zinc pennies notched out, right? See? I'll open it up, I'll, all metal right here. Oops, I just changed frequencies. I'll go back to multi one here. Open it up. They read the same numbers, right? So when you notch out zinc pennies, you may lose some rings there. That's a honking gold ring there. And some uh, junker rings sound just like zinc pennies too, but that's a honking gold ring there. Just unfortunately, it just reads up the same numbers as zinc penny, right? I'll notch it out here. Notch the zinc pennies out here. It's gone. Right. It's gone even without the zinc penny in there. <laughs> right. The only way to the only way to unmask targets is sometimes just getting that mask out of there, digging that mask out. Um, and that takes effort, you know, uh, notching, n notching a target is not magically, magically going to make that this zinc penny disappear, right? The only way to make this um, really truly not mask any more targets is to get the zinc penny out of the ground. I don't mind digging up zinc pennies because they're gold, they're, they're, they're rings once in a while and they're jewelry once in a while. But the bottle caps, you know, I'll put this silver ring in here. Watch this silver ring. It's gone. There, yeah, we're getting it there. But if it's right above it, no, no nothing. There's just no way. Do the same with the bottle cap here. I'll reject the bottle cap. And I'll put this big coil right here. I'll um un unnotch it here. I'm gonna um unnotch that so I don't forget about it. Okay, now it's wide open. Wide open here. It's hitting the bottle cap. Now I'll reject this bottle cap. Okay. Six has rejected that bottle cap out. It's gone. So you see that right there. Iron really affects metal detectors um, vision. You know, um, it's really gonna affect that field of that coil there. If this bottle cap is anywhere near that coil, it's going to affect whatever's underneath or near that target there. So you watch.
Look at this. Look at this. I can just get, I can get two inches close to that bottle cap there and it's just rejecting it, right? It's rejecting it already. Listen to what it sounds like. It's over with, man. See, look at this. That penny, it has a smaller profile. And really, the, the proportion, it's proportional too. This is a big target, a humongous silver coin. And this uh, is, of course, a bottle cap. And if I were to, to replace this with another smaller coin, there, there's just no way. There's no way. It's over with. It's over with. Look at this. It's rejected out. See that? Watch. Oops. No way. I'll put a quarter in here. Put a quarter in here. Just show you. Silver quarter. Same thing. The iron really affects the um the performance a lot. A lot more than notching. This bottle cap rejects really. Look at this. Look at this, look at this. I'm two inches away from that bottle cap right there, directly over that. Now watch. Two inches away and it's over with. I'll even go with a uh, dime here. I'll go with a dime. Watch this. This is hard to do. Um, I want to show you everything. It's hitting the bottle cap there. I can go up. I can go up one more here. Reject that bottle cap out. Seven bottle cap reject here. Still hitting it. Excuse me. Now I'll try this big gold ring here. Thirty-six, thirty-seven. It's not even touching it because it's near that bottle cap right there. See that? I have that bottle cap rejected out too. All right. Now I'll go down on my bottle cap reject here. Uh, to to four here. It's, it's, it's hitting the bottle cap now. Still not hitting that. Look at this. Iron affects the um the performance of the detector hardcore, man. I mean, watch watch this here. I'll take a coin and put it on its edge here. I'll just I'll just lay it flat here. I'll lay it flat here. Smashing it out here. Watch this nail here. This nail is not even under the coil. It's near the coil. See this? Once it gets underneath the coil, it's all over with, man. Right. There's no way. There's no way. Maybe if I go this way, with it, it might hit it if I get further away from it. No. It's hitting a little bit there. There we go. It's hitting a little bit there. But a smaller coin? No. It's not. Right. A quarter? Just give up. Just 
give up on it. Right. Silver coin? No. Small silver coin? No. Ain't gonna happen. I was gonna try the, the coin on its edge, but I don't have enough time in this video. You can see... Iron has a huge effect on the performance of your detector. And usually, um, square nails like this are going to be at the same, near the same plane as the coins around it. Um, your, how many Morgan dollars have you guys ever found? <laughs> I never found one. <laughs> and I've detected a lot of spots that you would think that would have them. Um, but, you know, um, in my area of the country, um, there just isn't a lot of deep silver coins. Um, and a lot of the silver coins that, um, were in parks were dug out a long time ago, um, with the older analog machines. Um, our parks are, have just been hammered and hammered on. And you got to look at it as layers, um, when you're unmasking, you got to look at it as a three dimensional, um, perspective that, there's if there's targets always being dep deposited you have you have to unmask you have to take those layers out to get deeper in the ground um and it doesn't matter what frequency or or um how big of a coil you have to really unmask targets you have to pull those targets out um i'm i'm really not interested in digging up bottle caps out of the ground that's why I get them off the surface because it's just so easy to get them off the surface. You can do that within a second, you know, just like that. You can pop one out of the surface there and you can maintain the area. But we have areas that are just hot spots for jewelry. You know, we found dozens of rings maybe in a hundred foot square area and throughout the years. And that's just me that I know of. Um, there's areas that there there's rings all the time. Every time we go there, we find rings or some jewelry or coins in that certain area. But to be able to, to find coins in that area, you have to pick up the bottle caps and the pull tabs because they mask targets. And once you start notching and, and rejecting these targets, you'll get, you probably won't be unmasking anything. All right, you'll just get the easy stuff, and then you leave the the um the big gold ring for us, the guys who unmask targets. Thank you for watching.